Brother Anthony, it's not, uh, you know. Well, actually, you don't know because, well, I'm going to tell you what you don't know. I mean, you do know, but you don't, well, you don't know. Hey, I was in King Williamstown yesterday. It's a stone's throw away from here. Well, they say that's it's quite a way, an hour or whatever way. But I had gone to Dumbaza first, and then and my group from Dumbaza, uh, they were in actually King because they had gotten this uh, grant. They got a bunch of money from uh, social development. And so they had to find a bank, you know, to deal with the thing. And so we had talked about this, you know, and, and so they went to one bank, and the bank wouldn't do what they wanted. They needed a checking and a saving, and blah, 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 they went to another. Then they figured out they should spread out and go to all the banks. There's only about four major banks, and then, you know, a bank thing, and then you have the postal bank, you know, like that in here. <coughs> so anyway, <coughs> they finally found a bank. But in that process, I was hanging in one of the camps. The other guys were other banks, and we were waiting in this other bank, just chilling, you know, there was a lot of people in the queue, and uh, there was a couple of older women, um, they were talking to a young woman, she must have been in the late 30s, 40s, they were sort of, not arguing, but they were talking like that, and so my guy was listening, and then he started talking to them, and later he told me what was going on, what happened, uh, uh, these older women, they, I guess they call them NPOs, but anyway, you have these uh, places in the rural places, and you know, outside of the cities, and, they, they get grants and they get money, then they get equipment you know, to do this stuff in the rural areas or the village, the villages. Well, it seems like they had bought a, a, a laptop from one of the stores and, um, and something happened, they had a virus. So they went to some sort of repair shop to get it done. And this guy, what he did was he took their hard drive out of their laptop and replaced it with uh, you know, some used hard drive. Now their hard drive was a really good hard drive. Mm -hmm. You know, it was it, it, right. And so that was that's what they were talking about. And now my guy who's talking to them, you know, he knows computers. He's, he's one of the, ex the computer experts in the group. And he was just with them. We started talking. I said, you know, it's just a shame because these folks from the villages they get ripped off by the younger people. You know, and, and then he went to the whole thing about the, you know, the, the food parcels and how, you know, the whole, you, you know, that whole sad thing. But I was thinking, you know, you know, it's, it's well, first of all, it's heartbreaking that 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 the younger generation would, you know, uh, uh, not only, not only pray on the older generation, but it makes a, a, a triple crime somehow in, 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 in on the continent of Africa when you when we or a lot of uh, what I call autochthonous cultures or you know primal cultures where they have they used to have this respect for elders you know but now it's it's not only don't they have respect for elders they they rip, rip them off or they're using elders for monetary gain or, or for whatever whatever gain and it would ah, it's never all right so I mean it's just I just you can't wrap your brain around that and uh, but the other question is you know if you if you're in a group like that then the agency should know this. Shouldn't they assign somebody to that group to handle your maintenance, your, like your IT things, or just to get you through the first few months if things happen? You know what I mean? Or at least there should be some, it must have some younger person that really just interested in what they're doing, but maybe, I, I don't know. But it's a problem. I mean, it's, 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 it's uh, tra use the words you want, tragic, stupid, blah, blah, blah. I don't know what words we, we can use. Uh, in fact, there is no words. But when you when you rip a help help a hapless person off, there is no words for that. Mm. You know, you're, 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 it's the power against the powerless kind of thing. Mm. It's, it's, I guess they're just mirroring what what happens in the larger society. You know, a banker doesn't tell you what's going on, and they rip you off, and they say, "Oh, it's not our fault. You you should have read, the, you know, whatever the deal is." So, anyway. That's the upsetting dispatch. I want to be a dispatch from the arts director of marriage. That, that would be me, T, from the Pattersons, taking the train to the Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect. Mm. Mm.